kampbereid. Looks like we are going into game one for the losers bracket of top eight. Oh, of course. What would it be if we didn't change the music too? <laughs> I think it's, it's Saturday evening, so I assume KK is going to be there. Yeah, maybe so, so. or maybe the time on this Wii U has been switched a bit. I don't know. Oh, the time must have been switched. Okay. Because okay. it is past seven. Maybe KK only shows up at eight. Anyway, yeah. game one, top eight losers. Uh, Yella versus Cyclone. Diddy Kong versus Sheik. Yep. As we expected, of course, Cyclone pulling out the Sheik instead of maybe the Samus, maybe the ZSS. Of course, as you said, Samus doesn't like Diddy. Zero Suit oh. Samus also hates Diddy, of I, course. I, I think Samus might even do better than Zero Suit <laughs> in, in, uh, in the Diddy matchup. Yeah, that is, that is the most hated Zero Suit matchup of all time. Cyclone already coming in strong with 46%. Of course, early percentage is not the problem for Sheik. Yeah, it looks like he's definitely one of the Sheik who, uh, who takes it easy, you know, plays safe, uses those needles to great effect, and doesn't overextend a lot. Now he's got the banana, let's see if he can do anything with it. Oh, he just drops it out of the hit. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, up B, very unsafe. Uh, Cyclone has been going for center stage with both a down B and an up B, interestingly enough, instead of going for the dash. Maybe he's very scared of Yala's lap trapping. Which is, of course, something that you can expect from a Diddy Kong Force. That's trapped by a banana. That is not something you want to be in. Definitely not. Of course, she can do uh, quite some leg strapping overall. But you need to get Yella off stage first. Yes, most definitely. Yes. And he seems to have a lot of trouble just hitting him right now. Yeah, and this is definitely going to be in Yella's favor right now in terms of percentages. Because while she needs to get her setups, Diddy has easier kill confirms, really, at these percentages that are coming up now. Yeah. Uh, basically, if you go even, you're losing in this, uh, oh, in no. this matchup. Yeah. yeah, and then a back air for good measure. I don't even think he was gonna make it, but he stuck his leg out there anyway. And that's, yeah. a, that's a good edge guard for Zyklon. Yeah, though it was a little bit unfortunate from that. He was trying to go for the reverse peanut popcorn cancel and mm. then maybe turn around on the side B. And he messed it up and just, he yeah, just yeah. SD'd off stage. Yeah, going a, to the bottom. A sad life, but you still got those kill confirms, man. One banana away from an up smash, and she yes. gained the heaviest. There oh, is drag down. down? Yeah, drag down is something that the ZSS players here have, have recently uh, incorporated into their playstyle. A lot of people like to go for drag down up mm -hmm. and down smash, for example, if they miss the tech. Though I think yeah, Cyclone itself is more of a drag down and then we grab. Kind yeah, of yeah, that's what he wanted to do, especially since Diddy is nowhere near kill percent quite yeah. yet. But uh, it works a little bit better on Greninja because he doesn't have the, the long gap between the multi hits yeah. and the finisher, and I think maybe also a little a little bit less lag. Don't quote me on that, but it looks just a little bit more. Yeah, just more consistent on Greninjas. Oh, high bouncing fish. Yeah, he keeps trying to cover the monkey flip probably, but uh, oh. Yala ain't giving it to him. Oh, very close recovery from Yala, almost missing the mark. There it is, oh, back, back air, back. not yeah. enough. Bouncing fish and back to stage. And bouncing fish towards center stage, not wanting to banana in his face. We're also reaching percentages, well... Yeah, that's it, that's it. No up yeah. smash required, just a good old rare back air. Sealing yep. it out of smash fill, but he got 100% to make up for. Yeah, most definitely. And now it's time for Sheik to show where the kill confirms lie. Or, you know, the, the classic work him up all the way to 180. <laughs> just go with a forward air. Or the forward tilt, maybe. Whatever works best for you sometimes. Yeah, the kill confirm. She does have some kill confirms, but most of them are really, really tight to execute. Yeah, you can already see Cyclone going in with the running nair, and then mm -hmm. maybe get the late nair into bouncing fish, which is of course the most used, at least in terms of what we've seen today. Both Cyclone and Light have been doing those to great effect. Yeah, I, I, uh, I most like it when Sheiks play uh, a bit like Yuk from uh, from Germany, when they really want to close out stocks, not just at 130, but way earlier when they just chase you all the way in the blast zone yeah. to get those bouncing fishes near the border but of course that isn't really gonna work on Diddy because of his multiple recovery options with uh, the stuff like monkey flip. How does it is at a high percentage 145? Oh no bouncing fish. Air dodges from Yala are on point. There's oh. the monkey flip the one time he doesn't cover the high recovery. Okay going low let's drum we grab What's he waiting for? Oh wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> it was yeah. smart, it was smart, I liked the attempt, but it didn't work out. Yeah, Cyclone had all the time in the world to react to that. Mm -hmm. Maybe if he had charged a little bit less, he could have 
you know, release closer to the platform. But in general, um, yeah, yeah, nice try, but uh, nice. patience of Zyklon reigning supreme. Yeah, a lot of six nets now. It would have most likely gone off stage, go for now, fail back, and if they miss, well, so the idol comes back to the platform safely. I, I would have already been charging in the down smash. Maybe not the Sheik because it, it's, yeah. it doesn't really cover the ledge, but in general, most people would just, you know, get antsy, yeah. do something, and that's when that could have worked. A Zyklo, man, I think it was just waiting so he could tip her down tilt. Yes, definitely. That's tip her down tilt, that actually combos very well into the up yeah, Especially if, if you hit him a little bit beneath the stage, because you hit him yeah. low. Yeah. Then you get that just that extra bit of reach, you know. And then you can either go for depending on how they go, either for up or fair. And fair that's now we also would have killed of course. Yeah. So I, I'm hurting the character select screen, but why would Yala be switching? I mean he was doing pretty well, it's just that the SD was super unfortunate. Yes, yes, that was it was a slight misinput, like the timing on the peanut popcorn cancel reverse, it was a little yeah. bit off, so he was off stage, he died for yeah. that. Of, of course he got hit plenty of times, but in general he was doing pretty good. Yeah, he was doing pretty good. Like he had the percentage advantage in the first talk, like by far. Yeah, definitely. But yet I just hear the jingle of the character select screen. Or could this be Zyklone? What? Going for is uh, he a, going zero suit? A much much worse matchup. He is actually going zero suit. Okay, so what we should be seeing? Oh, he wants to do him with the rage of B. Because they're going to Town City, but still, I think you're just gonna get oppressed by Banana and Fair, man. It is yeah. zero suit after all. And really, of course the Rage combo is there, but getting grab in the first place against City Comp might be tough to do sometimes. Yeah, honestly, um, I, I think just an overall winning matchup for Diddy Kong far outweighs the cheese yeah. he can get going on Town City. But it is Cyclone's choice, let's see what he can make of it. Most definitely. Already reaching small percentages for Yama as he goes for bread and butter throw combos. Oh, out of pivot grab. Look, it's super slick from Zyklon, but just one up air. That uh, you, you want more oh, when you're facing versus a matchup like this. Yeah. Oh, and there we have it, the oppressive forward air. Yeah, man, there's just no way to get through. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> ma okay, maybe we were okay, wrong. Maybe we were wrong. <laughs> maybe this is working out after all. But at the end of the day, he got... Three grabs in a row. Yeah, that, that, is, should, that is a good hit ratio. That just should not happen, basically. Yeah, that is a good hit ratio. It means that Cyclone has eyes of figured out the movement of Jala, or that Jala is not moving at all. <laughs> yeah, man, just maybe a little bit too afraid, using a bit, little bit too much shield. Because you don't want to be using that much shield for a zero suit anyway, yeah. because you really don't want to get grabbed, and her, her main thing, you know, short hopping around as options that are safe on shield, like back here and there. Yeah. I, I, in general, I don't feel like shield is that useful versus mm. serious attempts. And even after the first stock being taken convincingly and early, we are seeing a slight lead right now built up for Cyclone, but he is in high percentages and, and of course... And the banana is on play. There it is. Oh, Yo, he fell off. A wall jump? Oh, yes. Another back air is not going to be enough, no rage on this con. Oh. Nice. Is this a trap? He jumps, yeah, but the flip, flip kick. kick, so hard to cover, man, so hard to cover. You almost would have gotten the down kill. No. Rolling around at the speed of sound, not quite yet. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> a pro, Throw yeah. Up and. Town and city, man. Town and city. Some characters just, uh, just have those normal damage building throws that just start killing there. Yeah. Suddenly, you have a new kill option. We take those. We certainly do. Oh, nice little upper to break the combo. Can't move it into further. And Jala, or Jala is getting closer and closer to evening this up. Yep, most As definitely. Shoots. Oh, the jab out of shield, which is basically zero suit grab more or less, as an out of shield option. Oh, and he, he just runs straight to the other side of the stage, prioritizing banana over continuing the juggle. From what I'm seeing right now, Yala really does love his banana. Yeah, most definitely. This man is on bananas. I think that's uh, one of the most interesting aspects of, of, uh, of watching different Diddy Kong players. Like, yeah. how, how much do they want to use their banana, you know? Mm -hmm. The banana usage is really different for each uh, Diddy Kong. And Yala, this man has been taking the banana for the entirety of the second <laughs> yes. stock. Yes, yes. He is not going in without that. Like, I've barely seen a down tilt. It's banana, banana, <laughs> banana. <laughs> and if he doesn't have the banana, forward air. Or just now, that? Wow, wow, he outspaces that aerial <laughs> beautifully. Beautifully. And after the first stock being taken convincingly, Yala bringing it back in the matchup. 
And this might be why the matchup is many hated by Zero Suit players. Yeah, I mean, he got his stock taken at like 70% off yeah. of that one combo, and Cyclone still couldn't close it out because neutral is just too hard. Yeah, definitely. Getting the hit in and then maybe extending the combo might be a little too hard sometimes. But maybe he switched off of Sheik because before the SD, Sheik wasn't looking too hot. But yeah. I think he should still opt for the Sheik in, uh, in game 3. Yeah, definitely. And of course, now this is his counter pick on the stage. So. Or the Samus, of course. Yeah. Or the Samus. I've got to put it out there. <laughs> okay, we just pick Lilith and then we go Samus and then we see it. Samus is honestly pretty good on Lilith. Yeah. I would assume, yeah, a lot of people that don't like Lilith, but Zero Suit, oh, no, no, not Zero Suit, but Samus players. But well, no, Zero, Zero Suit too. Zero Suit is also pretty decent on Lilith. Yeah, but I, I think Samus players more, they, they, they like Lilith a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Zero Suits have a lot of options, you know. They like triplets and Town and City. Yeah. And Samus, uh, whether you want to go Town and City as Samus is just really, really dependent on what character you're playing against. Yeah. And Zero Suit basically always wants to go to Town and City. You know, super okay with that. Okay, we are going back to Sheik. Sheik's back out there. Let's see where they're gonna take it for game three. Smashville. Looking like Smashville, just where we were yeah. for game one. For a second, I would have thought that maybe there was an option of Final Destination, both of these characters being good at Final Destination. Is Dave's stupid rule not in the. F oh, well, he just lost, yeah, okay. I was thinking about Dave's stupid rule, you know. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, I'm actually not sure which version of. Or whether how Dave's stupid rule works at this tournament. N n nobody ever knows, man. Doesn't matter yeah. what tournament you're in. Yeah, <laughs> it's like tournament to tournament is different. Yeah, DSR is always a mystery. But yeah, it doesn't really matter since uh, Zyklon was the one who lost, so he gets a counter pick. Yeah. And then sometimes it's even different for best of three and best of five, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, surprising. Okay, there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going in without the banana. Another one. Yeah. Definitely using the banana, not just for the combos, but also for stage control. Yeah, it looks like he's going just a little bit more easy on the banana because those needles, man, they are fantastic for interrupting any banana pull. Yep. Maybe he could try jumping for the banana pull because you can't, of course, jump needle, as yeah. they would send him downwards. Yeah. Like Ty, Ty or whether Cyclone, as his name is now, he was, he was called Ty before, so I'm still getting a little bit confused sometimes. So Cyclone has been going for a lot of fairs on Banana. Like for example, the second that Jarl pulls out the Banana, sometimes Cyclone just comes up with the fair and just immediately punches the Banana away. Mm. Yeah, oh. reminds me a little bit of how, uh, how Mr. R down airs on Bananas, you know, to make them disappear oh, yes. lecklessly. That's, uh, that's some pretty cool stuff. Okay, needles coming out here. Yeah. Oh, here's your banana. No power shit and fares him off. Oh. There is no air dodge. Y'all are not giving it to him. Yeah, definitely not. No up throw, up air. No kill, of course. This is not town and city. Nah, you need uh, you need town and city, like you said, for uh, for any of those. Uh, well, yeah, those basic stuff killing. Yeah. Oh no, smashes are coming out. Down to the up smash. Uh, that, that's cheek, man. You use a smash deck, you instantly just get blasted <laughs> for it. Yeah, it's, that move was not designed to be used sometimes. That's what you think. Oh, of course. Double back air. Mo one of the most optimal things you can do at early percents. Except for maybe a footstool combo or something fancy. Nice little monkey flip to build the shield. Another, Another one. one. Yeah. Ty spending a lot of his time in shield. Oh. Monkey Flip versus Bouncing Fish, jumping above each other's head. A Zyklone, man, he is having so much trouble yes. figuring out how to take the stock. Yep. There it is, Bouncing Fish, but honestly, it's uh, it's not as strong as people give it credit, you know. It's a fantastic move, don't get me wrong, but as long as you're not getting caught off stage, you're probably not going to die to it anytime soon. Now, another high recovery, Jalo has been going for a lot of... Monkey flips, this time he doesn't go for it, he fakes it out, goes for the ledge instead. Yeah, nice he's up. been doing a fantastic job just kind of mixing up his recovery. And finally <laughs> the bouncing fish does it from center stage uh, at about 160. That was a bouncing fish out of shit and it covered the roll. I'm not sure if that roll was intentional or maybe he was trying to go or uh, punch or whatever out of shit option he would have gotten for. Throws the banana up, doesn't bother to catch it, so it, uh, it could be pulled back out by Yala. Yeah. And seeing uh, Zyklon's percentage, he's probably going to be yeah. doing that soon. <laughs> that, that's not a nice percentage to be at it against City Kong. You're reaching your limit. Oh, that's a quick 22%. Zyklon is building. Yeah. But every time he tries to get in for that Nair or that Fair as a combo starter, yeah. uh, Yala is just out of there, man. He just runs. That's a really small play. 
Yeah, at this point, Cyclone really needs to out neutral the other a lot of times to get back the disadvantage. Well, he's well on his way, but the fair dropping in to reset things for Yala. We are slowly getting there, though. Slowly getting there. 77%. Slowly <laughs> getting there. Oh. Well, okay, okay. I, wa I was afraid for those barrel jetpacks, man. I saw the backer come out. And now come down tilts. Yeah, he's already crouch walking a little bit, fishing for maybe down tilt soon. But now doesn't play now. So, so far as I come for the last couple of minutes, you've been doing yeah. a fantastic job avoiding that banana. Oh! And this high time recovery! He, oh. he takes it! Oh. The fantastic one high recovery! Fantastic sniper, Zyklone! And that's a 2 to 1 victory! After he was at like 10% like to 100? Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, so best of five is top six and not top eight. Yeah, so, okay. so I guess all matches from now on, as we have just eliminated two people from top eight. Yep, let being us... Being, of course, uh, Joe and uh, Jan. Let us check the brackets. That is not the brackets. We first. Oh. Now, it would make sense for them to uh, put winners on stream now. So my guess is that we're going to be starting off with uh, Purple Age versus Light. Yeah. Although we also have Frito against Prodigy and Loser still waiting as a best oh, of three. They, oh, they haven't played yet. Okay, so Joe wasn't top eight. It was top yeah, 12. Okay, yeah, Joe Frito... Got Joe got ninth. Yeah, yeah. So Frito and Prodigy are the ones in, uh, in top eight on the other side. It's so funny, before this tournament ended, like, almost everybody I talked to were like, ah, I'm not, I'm not in mood, I don't feel like I'm getting good placings, and now Frito is sitting here in top 8, like... <laughs> so he doesn't get to complain anymore. Yeah. There's no complaining Although for you here. It, it could have been Deus, it could have been Falco. It could have been a Falco. For the people, but Frito takes it. 